A very good evening to you. We start with some breaking news. A second innocent victim of violent crime over Christmas has been named tonight. Cody Fisher, a promising footballer, was stabbed to death in a Birmingham nightclub. Follows the murder of Ellie Edwards, a young beautician shot dead in a Merseyside pub. Tonight, Sky News has spoken to the chairman of Stratford Football Club, Jed McCrory. He was speaking to our correspondent, Becky Johnson. Cody Fisher uh, was one of... When I, I came to the club four years ago, and Cody was one of the first signings at the club. He'd just come out of Walsall. He's a talented footballer. But more importantly, he was a lovely person. He was just a lovely lad. He had a cheeky smile on his face. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes. He, he didn't have a bad bone. And, and, I, and I said to you earlier that, I know people say that, but he, he didn't. He, he'd, he'd play football in the car park with the kids. He's just a great kid. And everybody knows, everybody who's, who's spoken to some of the, one of the young kids, they all know each other. It, it's going to be a hard one to take this for everybody. Uh, everyone at this club, he was so well liked. And no message for his family. Oh, it's just speeches. Just anything we could do to help, we'll do. I'm just so sorry for him. Sky's Becky Johnson is in Stratford uh, upon Avon this evening, having uh, spoken uh, to there the uh, chairman of uh, Cody's Football Club. And uh, what else, Becky, are we learning this evening uh, uh, about this uh, very, very sad uh, case and, and the victim himself? Well, you heard there and saw the emotion, the devastation that the death of 23-year-old Cody Fisher has caused for his, the chairman of the football club here in Stratford, also his fellow players. They all know each other so well. And we have also had a statement from a family member, a brief statement this evening, which said, they've broken our hearts. I've lost my best friend. My family and I are asking for privacy and respectfulness at this heartbreaking time. So that's from a family member of Cody Fisher this evening. Um, just shock, disbelief. People who uh, knew Cody, he had many friends. I've been speaking to friends of his. He was well known within the footballing world in the West Midlands because he played for a number of local clubs. They all say the same thing, that there wasn't a bad bone in his body. Uh, one of his friends who played with him at Bromsgrove said that they went on a, an end-of-season holiday uh, to Portugal last summer and he said that he was the kind of friend who would do anything for anyone and indeed he was out with friends at the Crane Night club in Birmingham last night just simply we're told by people who know people who are there enjoying himself on the dance floor just dancing with a girl somebody said when he was stabbed um, inexplicably people who know him say they say that he just was such a lovely young man and the police were called about 11:45. this was just before this big club event was due to end and very, very sadly, around half an hour later, Cody was pronounced dead. We know that one of his friends was also assaulted, but has now been released from hospital. So the police say that they are really keen to speak to anyone who was at that club night. We know from the club's own social media that it, there were hundreds of people on the dance floor. It was absolutely packed at the time. I've spoken to a member of staff who says it was just mayhem when this stabbing happened. People running out of that club, obviously scared when they, they heard what had happened. But the police say they want to speak to anyone who was there, anyone who might have seen what happened, anyone who might have been filming on their phone around that time might have some evidence that could help lead to whoever did this. In the meantime, there are reports from people who are at that club night. They do seem to describe, they say, a group of lads who appeared to be out looking for trouble. Of course, that's purely anecdotal. The police really keen to see any footage, any CCTV and hear from anyone uh, who might help them get to whoever did this. Becky, thanks so much.